I'm out of Amacor for my Gamma Core, so I'm using the Twin Gracatas in this game. Running through a Earth Dark Sector defense, going to Wave 30 solo in the Equinox as I level up my Equinox for the first time here in this video, which was recorded a couple of weeks ago because I've been really lazy about posting videos. I have since put three Forma on my Equinox and unlocked his Exilus slot, which is one reason why I needed um, a couple extra Forma. So got him modded really, really well um, for my personal preferences now. But as of the posting of this video, he was not that well taken care of. As you can see, this is my first level up with him, but I have since stacked on um, Intensify, Transient Fortitude, Fleeting Expertise, a couple of other things to uh, maximize my use of Maim, which is his ultimate ability in the day form, which is really what I really love about uh, the Equinox. Actually, out of the last few Warframes that they have added to the game, Equinox is by far my favorite. Really do like him and thought he was worth the, he or she, whatever, was worth the um, investment of some additional forma since it should be quite a long time before we see a Prime version of this Warframe. Equinox Prime will be nasty. I wonder what the Prime drop uh, requirements would be like for that. But anyway, as it is right now, yeah, really digging the Equinox and I don't know why I'm not using any of my abilities much right here in this video, but like I said, this was my first time leveling him up, and I was just mostly killing enemies, so unfortunately this is not a great gameplay video for showing off uh, the prowess of Equinox, but I do have a video coming up very shortly here that I will post of running through a T4 defense with Equinox and just running around with Maim active the whole time bleeding everyone out really do like that power so coming into wave 29 right now I'm gonna cast maim right now and you notice in the top right corner my uh damage that i'm storing up got over 8,000 right now and you know we figured out like playing t4 defenses it's, it's really fun to get it stacked up to a good hundred thousand two hundred thousand and then just clear out everything with really good ranged mods on and whatever so I actually enjoy that. I like that a lot. Uh, you see I'm using the Boltus as my melee right now and the Twin Gracadas I've actually put a few Forma on since I got those. Another really really great addition in my opinion from the recent update. Uh, definitely one of my favorite weapons in a long long time. It kind of booted out my Sinoid Gamma Core for my go-to secondary weapon. And I'm actually not done leveling them up. I think that uh, Prime Pistol Gambit uh, still, I don't have <coughs> fully leveled up at the moment, and I'm going to need one more Forma on my twin Gracadas to get that up, but uh, I think it's a good weapon for crit chance and crit damage, so I got it modded for that, but I just really enjoy using them. You see they got a pretty good uh, clip capacity, pretty good magazine capacity, that is pretty good total ammo. You get 1,200 total ammo. I'm low on ammo right now, but coming into wave 30... It's really a non-issue for me at this moment. I don't really care. I'm just going to run around, hack and slash everyone with the Boltus. And I still have Maim active. One thing I really like about that is not only does it do the damage to the enemies, but it just stuns them so well. And of course, like I said, I don't have it modded very well right here, right now, because of the fact that I was just leveling the Warframe up. I had put a reactor on him because... I've gotten to where I pretty much do that with every new Warframe that I get, uh, especially anything I know I'm going to keep and playing slightly long enough now to get a good stash of reactors that I've spread around through my stable of Warframes. I've actually been playing the game for a year now, personally, so still going strong. I've sunk hundreds of hours into this game over the last year and looking forward to spending that and many more as they continue to add and increase and change things for the better making the game a living organism basically watching stuff play out and get better and more fun as time goes on so got a little over a hundred XP total for that I usually add up the regular XP and the bonus in my head 
and kind of look at it that way so knocking out this leveling up process for equinox i'm actually going to switch and um show a slightly kind of bonus ish gameplay right here for us switch to a glitch and this is where hellbringer got stuck flying in his arc wing you can see him flying around in a spot where you are not supposed to be in your arc wing this is from our previous endeavor to unlock the equinox and you know that the boss fight against till regger now is a submersible mission which means you can switch to your arc wing when you are underwater but when you're not underwater you're not supposed to be in your arc wing so i'm underwater now i toggle to my elytron and when i jump out of the water i'm back to regular warframe mode and somehow hellbringer is able to fly around <laughs> in his arc wing <laughs> even though he's not underwater anymore so we thought that was pretty funny and i said i was gonna put that in a video because i think it was a really cool random weird glitch that happened unexpectedly and uh he was able to just fly on out to the exit of the map and that was weird and probably won't happen again but as i said that had absolutely nothing to do with me playing through that earth dark sector defense in my equinox but that's what the video was initially and primarily about so thanks for watching the video next one coming up i do plan to post some t4 defense as i said and it will be some nova prime gameplay followed by the same thing with some equinox gameplay fully leveled up so thanks for watching